All right, so in this problem, we have a rigid tank, and it's well insulated. And inside of this tank, we have water, five pounds of water, and it's initially at 260 degrees Fahrenheit, and that is a quality of 0 0.6, so it's a saturated or a two-phase mixture of water. We also have a little uh, paddle wheel right over here, so it spins a shaft, and or a, a shaft spins this paddle wheel, rather, and it stirs up the water, and it increases the temperature of the water to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're asked to find the work in BTU as well as the amount of entropy produced in BTU per degree Rankin. All right, so to find that work, let's apply the first law of thermodynamics, which just states that the change in internal energy is equal to the heat transfer minus the work. We can cancel out that heat transfer because we're told that this is a well insulated or it's an insulated container. And we're left with the change in internal energy is equal to uh, the negative work, or in other words, U2 minus U1 is equal to negative W. And if you just rearrange this, multiply everything by negative 1, you'll have that the work is equal to U1 minus U2. So now we just need to pull that U1 and U2. So to find U1, we have T1. So at T1 is equal to 260 degrees Fahrenheit and x1 is equal to 0 0.6, we should be able to find the specific internal energy because this formula here can be rearranged to being the mass times the specific internal energy or difference in specific internal energy. So these two expressions are equivalent. This is the bulk form. And then if you multiply the specific or uh, per unit mass properties times the mass, you'll have the bulk form. So once again, we have 260 Fahrenheit and 0 0.6 as our quality. So if you go over to table A2E and go to 260 Fahrenheit, and we want to look at our specific internal energies. So we have 228.6 on the fluid side and 1090.5 on the vapor side. Now we can use the following expression to find what our actual specific internal energy is at this 260 Fahrenheit and 0 0.6 quality. U1 is equal to UF plus X times the difference of UG minus UF. And once again, the G stands for uh, vapor and F stands for fluid. So saturated vapor and saturated fluid or saturated liquid. Simply plug your values into this equation and you'll have 228.6 plus 0 0.6 times the difference of 1090.5 minus 228.6. Plugging all of this into your calculator will give you the first specific internal energy, U1, being equal to 745.74, and that's going to mean BTU per pound. Now, if you look at your second state, you have 350 degrees Fahrenheit, but you don't have anything else, or at least you think you don't have anything else. But you actually do, because we're told that it's a rigid container, and because it's rigid, that means that the volume 1 is equal to the volume at 2. So in other words, the specific volume at 1 is also equal to the specific volume at 2. So if we turn back to table A2E, and go back down to 260 Fahrenheit, we have the VF, for the saturated liquid, specific volume being equal to 0 0.01708, and the saturated vapor for 260 being 1177. So very similarly to how we found the specific internal energy at state 1, we can just you do the same thing to find the uh, specific volume. So you'll have the V1, specific volume 1, which can be equal to specific volume 2, is equal to 0 0.01708 plus 0 0.6 times 11.77 minus 0 0.01708. And this expression should simplify into V1 being equal to V2, which is going to be equal to 7.069 feet cubed per pound. So now we have two things that we can work off for state 2. So we have at T2 equals 350 degrees Fahrenheit and V2 is equal to 7.069, sorry about that, that's uh, feet cubed per pound. We can go to our properties table, our saturated water table, and go down to 350, 
and go to 350, and you'll see that the saturated liquid is 0 0.01799, and the saturated vapor is 3.346. Now, because we have a specific volume of 7.069, we're in the superheated region. So in other words, we're going to have to find 350 degrees Fahrenheit and 7.069 feet cubed per pound in the superheated tables. So let's turn to the superheated tables. And the way you're going to want to do this is you're only going to want to read values at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So you're going to fix the value at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you're going to find a value that's higher than 7.069 feet cubed per pound and a number that is lesser than 7.069 feet cubed per pound. So for example, right over here, we have 350 Fahrenheit and we have 23.9. Here we have uh, 11.84 feet cubed per pound. So that's getting closer. I'm going to keep going. So if we turn over here, we have 350 degrees and we have 7.82. So that's pretty close right there. We might be able to use that as our higher digit. So we have 7.069 in the middle. Just remember that's what we're looking for. So we have a 7.82 up top, and the next value we have is 5.8. So we'll take those two values. So I like to set up a little table here just to keep track of what I'm doing. So we have the specific volume, again, that we calculated, um, or we fixed it at 7.069. And we know we have this specific volume because it's a rigid container, and this is what it was at the uh, first state, so it is what it is at the second state. And then we found that the closest two values at 350 degrees Fahrenheit are 7.82 on the high side and 5.8 on the low side. So now if you look to the right of that 5.8, you see that the specific internal energy is actually 1118.5, so I'll write that into here, 1118.5. And then similarly for the 7.82, you have 1121.4. So now all you have to do is interpolate for this number right over here. So when you interpolate for this value, you'll have that the specific internal energy is equal to 1120.3 BTU per pound. So now we can finally solve for our work. We just plug in the five pounds in for M, and then we have that U1 calculated right over here. And then we just found that U2 is 1120.3. So I just went ahead and plugged in the numbers right over here. When you plug it into your calculator, you'll have that the work is equal to negative 1872.8, and that's going to be in BTU. Okay, so now for part B, the amount of entropy produced. So just remember that the entropy, the difference in entropy, so S2 minus S1, is going to be equal to the mass times the specific entropy at two minus the specific entropy at one. So these are capital S's denoting bulk form, and these are lowercase s's denoting that it's on a per unit mass basis. So once again, just like we found that specific internal energy and that specific volume, we have to find the specific uh, entropy at one and two. So at one, you'll have that S1 is equal to SF, plus x times sg minus sf. Keep in mind that state 1 is 260 Fahrenheit and a quality of 0 0.6. So when you go to table A2E, which is that saturated uh, water table, and you go down to 260 degrees Fahrenheit, you have a, a liquid, saturated liquid's entropy, specific entropy, sorry, of 0.3819 and a saturated vapor specific entropy of 1.6864. And those are both in BTU per pound degree Rankin. So now we can find S1. So we have S1 is equal to 0 0.3819 plus 0 0.6 times the difference of 1.6864 minus 0 0.3819. And I plugged this into a calculator and I got that S1 is equal to 1.1646. And again, that's gonna be in BTU per pound degree Rankin. Now, all that's missing is that S2, that specific entropy at state 2. So now if we go back to where we found those specific volumes and specific internal energies, we can also find the entropies. So, for example, at that 7.82 value, we have, we have a specific entropy of 1.6830. So we'll put that right over here, 1.683, and that's, of course, specific entropy. And then the 5.8 uh 
feet cubed per pound corresponds with 1.6476 BTU per pound degree Rankin. Linear interpolation will give you that this value that we're looking for, S2, is equal to 1.6698, and that's, of course, BTU per pound degree Rankin. So now we have everything that we need. So now we have S2 minus S1 is equal to the mass times the change in specific entropy. So all this will be equal to 5 pounds times the difference of 1.6698 minus 1.1646. And from putting this into my calculator, I got that the change in entropy is equal to 2.526 BTU per degree Rankin because the pounds on the mass here cancels out with that specific per unit mass pound on the uh, specific entropy.